All right, uh, yeah, um, I want to talk about four visions that I had, uh, each one is about the millennial reign, uh, five, if you want to count the dream that even started, that jump started this, uh, basically I had this dream, right, and, um, that was in the millennial reign, and I'm not sure if I was, and then I woke up and I was like, wait, did I just dream about the millennial reign, I went back to sleep, not even thinking anything, uh, you know, just wanted to go back to sleep. I didn't even really care. All that. I didn't really care about it because I was just like, well, I'll just, you know, I was like, I'll just remember it later. And I just want to go to sleep right now. Uh, that same day, I started walking uh, to, to the local jewel that was around my area that I lived at at the time. And uh, I remember the vision that I was at. This is the first vision. This is what, you know, this is the first time I ever visioned. The, I had a vision of the millennial reign. And basically, it was like, it was like something like grabbed the back of my head and I just, I was able to like, to see, uh, you know, I don't know if anybody ever watched that show, That's So Raven. Uh, I'm not promoting Disney. I'm not promoting that show. I'm not promoting Disney Channel, neither anything that is Disney related. But I was just saying, you know, from my personal experience, you know how Raven used to act and how she used to get visions and she, her, her head just used to cock back and like, I don't know where she would just get the vision and she would see. Well, I had one of those. It was like that, actually. And uh, basically, uh, I seen, uh, I knew it was myself, and I was in the future. I could tell it was me because of my eyes. And I was like, yeah, that's straight up me, you know. This my, those are my eyes, and I knew exactly that it was me. And then I looked at my, and I, and I have this habit where I, like, you know, I, you know, I touch the walls, and, and uh, I, I stretch out my arms, and I just start touching the walls, you know. It's just a habit that... This is a habit that I do, and I don't know where I got it from or where I picked it up from, but uh, basically, I had, in the vision, I had my, my 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 right arm outstretched, and I was, like, touching the the, the gold. Uh, well, it didn't look like I was touching the gold, but I was, like, I had my arm stretched out closer to the gold, and I was just, like, you know, just doing the habit that I do currently. Now, in this day and age, still do. And I was still doing it in the millennial reign. So I was like, man, uh, you know, I was like, man, that's kind of weird. I was like, well, that's that's kind of weird. But I was like, I was like, um, yeah, um, I was like, okay, and I was like, yeah, that's me. And obviously, I got met, I got excited, and, and I got giddy. And I was like, I was like, yeah, I was like, oh my goodness, I made it. This is vision one, and uh, the second time, you know, I had another vision, and uh, I kept, it kept replaying in my mind back over and over and over again. And, uh, you know, and obviously, you know, I was loving it because I was like, I made it, I made it, I made it. And then I had another vision. Uh, this time was, uh, I believe, um, I think it was uh, my, my younger brother while I was listening to my, while I was listening to music. I just had this vision and I, I looked at my brother and uh, he grabbed me by my, he was, I knew it was, I knew he was grabbing me and I knew that it was me in my, in the, in the vision. I, I, I was like, you know, he was grabbing me, and he, and he was like, "You made it." And when I looked at his face, um, his face was clear. He was skinny. Uh, he had a clear. He had a clean face. He had a different kind of mouth. You know, uh, he had just normal hair. And there was somebody on my on my on my on my left on my on on my le- on my right side. So there was someone on my right side. My brothers in front of me, grabbing me by my shoulders, telling me, "You made it." And then I'm just, I couldn't see how I looked, though. I, it was just, all I saw, I mean, this was cool. All I saw was uh, this this light where my where I was supposed to be, but I knew that it was me. And I knew that Edgar was telling me, you know, you made it. Because I could tell, because cause the youthfulness that, that I had in it, he was grabbing me. He's like, you made it. And then the vision ended. That's vision two. And we're both dressed, we're both dressed in all white. I could clearly see my, my, my younger brother's face clear as day. I could see his face. I knew automatically it was him. He didn't have anything on his face. Everything was all clear. And the girl next to me on my right side was, I believe, I think she was shining too. I know she was a girl, but I don't know who the girl that was. Uh, and I was like, all right, God. And I was like, can I have a vision? I want to see my sister. And uh, so God showed me a vision of uh, this woman who I believe, I thought it was my sister. But I was like, wait a second. I was like, 
well, that's weird. I was like, she really looks like this other girl. And I was like, what the? I was like, my sister look, really looks like this other girl. And uh, my sister, my older sister, she's a lesbian, you know, so. You know, I was like, man, I'm glad that she made it, but, you know, I don't think that was my older sister. I think that was, that was obviously, um, this other person that I used to, I used to know, and, and then I was like, okay, and I was like, all right, and, uh, I was like, man, I was like, she looks, I was like, she looks, you know, not good, but she was like, I was like, damn, my sister looks, I was like, she looks different. But obviously, is it, it was uh, someone else. It wasn't my sister's sister. It was another. It was like God was telling me, "Behold, this is your sister who does the commandments of God." It's like your older sister doesn't do the commandments of God. And whether she repents, that's on her. But hopefully, you know, God works in 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 His own way. So these people repent. He shows His visions, and so people repent and people give their lives to Christ and encouraging visions and and things like that. Uh, and the fourth vision that I had, uh, this one was probably, I mean, it's probably more meaningful to anybody else. It was of my little niece, uh, Victoria. And um, when I seen her, uh, I mean, she looked normal. Like, she has the gift of beauty on earth. Like, right now, currently, she has the gift of beauty. But in, in, when she had the, her glorified body, she didn't have that gift anymore. It was like God gave her that gift specifically for a reason, for a purpose. And, um, uh, and, uh, and she didn't have that gift anymore. And I looked at her face, her face looked like, you know, it looked nice, you know? And then, uh, she had a crown and she had a, she had a crown that was, uh, that was gold. And it was just like a simple crown, you know, it was like a, it was like a band. And then like, a, it had like one, uh, what is it called? One of those pointy, uh, parts and it had one of those pointy parts. It was all round and then it just has one pointy part in the middle. The jewel in the middle uh, was um, was red, and then she had two diamonds on each side. And when she had two diamonds on each side, all right, each diamond it was like each diamond, rep- each sparkle in the diamond, like representing like a soul that she saved. And I was like, and you know, this is something that I'm not sure if this, if I'm, I, this is just my own take on it. I'm not sure if that's what it is, you know, but. It was like each each sparkle from the diamond was like each soul that this little that my niece saved, and I was like, damn! I was like, that's that's ama-. I was like, that's 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 amazing. You no, know, not amazing, but when I looked at it, I was like, man, this that looks nice. And then the vision ended, and uh, yeah, those are the, the four visions that I had. Um, but now I'm gonna give you a little history about these people. All right, my older brother, he's a Catholic. All right. Oh, my older brother, my younger brother, he's a Catholic. So obviously he's going to repent of his Catholicism. He's going to utterly renounce it, you know. And that's just his way of saying, you know, to leave the Catholic Church because it's no good for anybody. And that's that's maybe that's God's way of, of giving my brother uh, the ability to pre- evangelize to other individuals by telling them, you know, in the future I leave this church. And, you know, he could go around and he could say, I'm never going to leave the Catholic Church or whatever he's going to say. But in reality, I already seen the future. So I already know for a fact he's going to leave the Catholic Church, uh, and which is good. Uh, that's going to lead many souls into into heaven because they're going to realize that, that, you know what, the Catholic Church is the true church if this young man left the Catholic Church. And... Uh, a uh, little back round around my uh, niece. Uh, yeah, she's just my niece. Uh, she's not really anything, you know. She does. She is a little rebellious for a six-year-old, but you know, she does try her best. And you know, I do tell her stuff. She does listen to me. And uh, a little back story on me. I'm just assuming, man. How I made it, I have no idea. And to be honest, obviously it's because of Jesus. I didn't make it in for any other reason other than the fact that Jesus, because of Jesus. Uh, the girl, the girl. I'm not gonna talk about it because that's personal. That's on her, to be honest. And uh, 
how she made it. Man, I really don't even know. Because, for real, I really have no clue how she made it. Mm. But, yeah, um, uh, I'm not going to talk about my personal business, because my private business, because it's private. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just crazy. Um, but, yeah, uh, how we were dressed, we were dressed in all white, people. Like, we were dressed in all, like, all white. Like, just all white, like, all white, all white, like, went in all white robes, not even, like, and there were thick robes, too, not even, like, robes that look, like, just flimsy or thin, or thin, like, these were thick robes, and they were warm, too, and, uh, and, uh, we were just, we were just appropriately, you know, and when I saw the girl, uh, I mean, it should, I mean, I already, you know, whatever, you know, it's, it's whatever, I'm more happy that she even made it to begin with, cause I mean this is terrible. Uh, but yeah, uh, I had other visions, but you know, there's always vain imaginations that come around and and things like that. All I do is ask God to let me see, uh, let me see my individuals that made it, and I got to see it. And uh, again, people, I'm nobody special. Uh. You know, you just, I didn't doubt, or I didn't even have that thought in my head that I was going to doubt. I just wanted to see if he would or not. And next thing I know, I have four visions of four different individuals, and that's how it is. Even people, don't be haters. Uh, don't be the type of individuals that that you're going to hate and scold someone for their sin, but meanwhile, you're over here still struggling with your sin. Uh, pray to God, because I'm not perfect neither. I do that too, people. So don't be one of those types of individuals where you're going to sit here and wag your finger at an individual while you're struggling yourself. And, uh, yeah, it's all by grace, people, honestly. Because that's the only way anybody's ever going to make it. Because in the future, what are you going to say? Oh, I did it because of my good works. I got here because of my good works. Because God saw my good works. Nah, man. If anything, God has to break you t to the point where you realize you're so incredibly wicked and you need a Savior. That way you can't put it on anybody else but your Savior. But many people are puffed up by their own pride and they don't want to admit that type of stuff. Or they, they want to admit that they're saved and... And, and whatever, you know, we have to be perfect as God is perfect. And we do have to take that authority and charge and, and say we are the sons and daughters of the Most High. And uh, that's it. And, uh, yeah, people, uh, the millennial ring, I've I, I, I seen how it was. And there's other testimonies on YouTube, too. Uh, yeah, um, the glorified body. I haven't had, I had, a, I could talk about that vision, but. I've had so many different visions of so many different scenarios of the same one. The first vision I had of the glorified body, uh, I was on my knees. And, uh, you know, I, I was on my knees and I was looking from the vantage point of, uh, of um, like, let's just say somebody put an iPhone camera on, on the floor. And I was on my knees and I was like, I had my face forward and I was crying and then I, I and then I like leaned and I rocked back not rocked back but I like I went backward like I, I was about to get baptized like a person gets baptized and I went backward like I was going to get baptized and then I looked up to the sky and then the vision ended uh I have this testimony on my I have this testimony on my page uh uh I'm not really too sure about the details of it, but I'm just telling you what I saw, you know, I was dressed in all white, I believe I was shining like a flashlight, like a straight up flashlight, like a, a you know, bless God, I was shining like a, like a light of, like a light, you know, like a light bulb, and, uh, you know, and that was, that was the first vision of the glorified body, uh, you know, uh, bless God, uh, there's other ones that I've had too, but people, this is all glory to God. I mean, I, obviously, I'm just a man, so it's not like you guys can really say anything like, "Oh yeah, wow, dude, you're really cool." But nah, man, this is all because of God. It's not like I would have been able to do this either way without Him. 
And maybe people get angry or aggravated because of the way that I speak or the way that I talk. Like, man, you're supposed to be proper. You're supposed to be normal. Or, or you're supposed to speak like a King James Version Bible. Why don't you talk like that? Or whatever it is that your people think. Um, yeah, I mean, Jesus is just relaxed. Jesus just talks normal, too. When the first things when I seen him was... The first things that he said when I seen him was, You see, I am real. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, he's obviously familiar with idioms and stuff like that. <laughs> and, uh, and, um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, that's it for today, kids. Uh, keep your head up and, uh, pray to God. Hey, Amen. May God bless you double. Get a double portion of oil. For real, people. Bless God.